What's going on? We're headed north to Missouri. Got me and old Travis with me. Or he got me with him, I reckon. <laughs> I'm the passenger princess today. Uh, Cade and the rest of the group are going to be following up behind us. We wanted to stop the Bass Pro Cabela's and just kind of take our time getting up there. So we left a little earlier in them. Uh, we just left Florida. We're coming through Alabama now. Hopefully we can keep y'all here with us and have a good time. Hopefully we can kill some deer when we get up here. So it's about 80 degrees right here in South Alabama right now. And right where we're going in Missouri, it's 30 cold fronts coming through. So it ought to be pretty good when we get up there. So we'll keep y'all up to date on how everything goes. Check in with you after a while. What you got to say there, Trap? Let's go kill it, Megan. Her, Bring it back home. That's right. Peace out. Uncle Ted, gonna make him proud on this trip. We ain't even Alabama, we done dropped our dead gum bank accounts in the Bass Pro Shops up here. We just stopped at the Bass Pro Shops up here in Alabama. We were saying, oh, we need just a couple things to get going. We spent an hour spent and a half. $800 in there. Hour and a half spent $800. Did we spend $800? I don't know. In total, yeah. I spent like 300 yeah. So, a little update, we gotta stop and get gas for a run out. We're getting back on 65. Headed towards Nashville, Nash Vegas up there to the Music City, see if we can get us a hot chicken sandwich. You can hear me? I'm gonna have to edit that out. <laughs> um, but anyway, just wanted to stop and get y'all up there. Let y'all know we ain't even made it out of Alabama. We're already about a thousand deep in this trip. Come on. After a while. Tell us what you gotta say. Let's do it. Let's uh let's try not to uh, spend too much anymore. <laughs> yeah, now we're about to buy gas. There's gonna be a uh, the bell is coming up. We'll decide to stop in there. We're going to get broke again. Later on. Well. Good evening. You awake over there, partner. <laughs> we made it. It's currently 3.45 in the morning. Two out of the three trucks of our parties here. Waiting on Caden and his dad to get up here. So. They had to leave wait. They're not gonna get up here till like nine in the morning and we can't check into our place until they get here. So I think Travis and I are gonna snooze in the Walmart parking lot for a little bit. Right about daylight, we'll get up, go inside, buy our licenses and anything we need. We'll go, we're not too far from where we're gonna stay. So probably go scout a little bit here and right around daylight. So that was a, uh, Definitely the longest drive I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> no doubt. And to do it nonstop. I mean, we started at 10 o'clock this morning, and it's 3.45 we just got here. Yesterday morning. Yeah, <laughs> yesterday morning. Yeah. This is, that's rough. This is rough. But we'll be here for 12 days. Hopefully it pays off. So check in with y'all around daylight. I'm going to sleep. Okay, fellas. We are legal in the state of Missouri. That's right. We are legal. And uh, I reckon we're going to head on over to a block of woods. We'll put it that way. And uh, we're going to see if we can't put our eyes on one first thing this morning. So stay with us. All right. We made it to the first chunk that we're gonna be scouting. It's our first day here. Still waiting on Cade to get up here. My buddy Timmy rode on up the highway. He's gonna go look at the other side of his place. A bunch of fingers down here. It's just now starting to crack daylight. And I mean to tell you, it is cold. It's blowing about 25. It's 27 right now. I think the wind chill is like 10. So it's a uh, it is very cold for us Florida boys. I don't know what we're gonna do about it, but. Especially being that we was in shorts and t-shirt weather yesterday. Yesterday, we was in shorts and t-shirts two hours ago. So, um, we're in a pretty good looking spot right here. It's not really, as you can see, it's starting to crack daylight. 
we're just gonna sit here and glass from the truck. It's too cold. We don't know what we're doing. We're just gonna glass from the truck, see if we can see anything, see if we can buck seen chasing does. We've seen a real big buck chasing a doe driving up here. Seen several other other bucks. Timmy's seen a big buck chasing a doe, so I think they're doing it. Um, so as it gets to daylight, we'll try to record a little bit more, show y'all what we're looking at, see if we can see anything, and uh, we'll keep you up to date. I'm trying to get the pretty sunrise on camera real quick. Oh, it doesn't do it justice. That's a Missouri sunrise. And you can probably tell, if you can't tell by the sound, it is blowing a gale. But we'll get back with y'all here in just a little bit. All right, guys, so we just got up on the truck. Just got daylight enough to see, and as soon as we sit up on top of the truck, right there, a really nice boat pulled straight from the truck. Got up and ran down in that creek head right there. Yeah, yeah, I know you can't tell with the glare right now, but we're just kind of sitting here standing on top of the truck overlooking this bowl. There's a, there's a food plot right over there in this creek head right here. Sunrise coming up, but I know Timmy's already seen a buck and we've already seen a nice one, so we're going to give this place a few more minutes to see what comes out. Right there. There he goes. Nice buck. As you've seen, we just saw that nice buck right there just driving around. They are doing it. The bugs are moving. I'm gonna get her up here on this ridge where I can kind of overlook this big green field without boogering nothing any more than it already is, hopefully. Just maybe see what's, see what's around. Big saddle right here. Just on the other side of either side of two big oak bottoms. I'll report back to you if I see anything. One and a half of them. One horn. Two of them. He's chasing. Two he's up. with the doe. Was that the doe? I guess so. I mean, I don't imagine it's a another buck right now. Hang on, let me see if we can zoom it's in. Just on. a cow horn. Yeah. He's coming to us. Yep. Yep. Let's see if he'll cross this road. Okay. Hell, stop! 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 Is it? Did he cut in? We'll get across there. We'll be able to see him if he comes out the other side. Alright, a little update for you. We just got done scouting. Heading in to put our stuff up and find our lodge, wherever it is we're staying up here. I don't even know where we're staying. We've been so focused on finding deer. We saw a handful of bucks this morning. Two decent ones. I think one may have been a shooter. The other one, I don't think would have been a shooter. He's just real wide. I think he's a big six or something. But up here, they gotta have four on one side. But I'll show y'all around the camp when we get there. I really need some sleep. I'm going on 35 hours of no sleep. So, I'm kind of a zombie right now. What you got to say? We eat you both. <laughs> Might take a nap. What's up, guys? So, we are here. We are in Missouri. We're it's trying been a to find night. Yeah, well, we drove straight on through the night. Got here, went to Walmart to get the groceries. Bought her license. 142 in the daytime and 36 degrees and the wind blowing 80 knots. 80 knots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, uh, we're just riding around, seeing what's planted around the area now this year and it's a lot of the same. They looks like they've already cut more than they did at this point last year. So we just scrape it around, seeing if we can see anything from the road for us. You know, sign, deer, what's been planted, and then we're gonna go from there. And see what happens. What's up guys? I finally got some sleep. Got some lunch. Come out here and finished up scouting where I started this morning. And I found some really good bucks on. There's 30 scrapes in 200 yards. There's huge rubs. Um, I mean, it's just ideal. It's really thick right here where I'm at. Um, it's kind of like an oak flat, but it's real thick and nasty. His trail, he's walking, I mean, making all the scrapes on us right over there, about 30 yards. And there's a little creek bed right behind me. And if you look right there, there's a really fresh scrape right there. So I'm not too sure where he's 
coming from in this place. And the wind is really hard out of the northwest, so if he's coming from back in there, I'm kind of hosed, but if he's coming from any of these other directions, I may get a shot at him, so I don't know. I got some native scents out of uh, the seduction native scents, so I'm hoping he'll get a whiff of that because these things are just now starting to move around and have a little bit of rut activity, so I'm really hoping this evening I'll mess him up. Because I'm in mean, this fresh, fresh buck sign. But uh, I'll keep y'all up to date on what happens in here. Hopefully, I can get some on camera for you. I don't know if you can hear me now, but there's a bunch of turkeys right over there. Thank <laughs> you. 
grunt. I hear Bub grunt. I hear Bub grunt behind me. I think how's it doing? I think he's doing. It's just... 